U.S. Army's new drone killer can fry whole swarms of drones in midair with a blast of microwave radiation. It is called Leonidas. It is a prototype counter drone system that can send out a wide beam of electromagnetic energy capable of targeting several drones at once, decimating incoming swarms. In this video, we are going to explain how the drone killer works. But first, why do we need such a weapon? Well, drones have become a serious threat in modern warfare, especially when they operate in swarms. A swarm of drones is a group of flying robots that can coordinate their actions using artificial intelligence. They can be used for reconnaissance, surveillance, attack, or even kamikaze missions. Imagine a swarm of 107 drones flying towards a military base, each armed with a grenade or an anti-tank charge. How do you stop them? You can't shoot them down one by one with conventional weapons because they are too fast, too agile, and too numerous. You can't use missiles or lasers, because they are too expensive, too bulky, and too power hungry. You need something that can disable multiple drones in a single shot, something that can reach them at long distances, something that can operate in any weather condition, and something that can distinguish between friend and foe. You need the Leonidas anti-drone system, the ultimate drone killer. Leonidas is based on a Pyrrhus Leonidas counter drone system, which was developed by a defense contractor in collaboration with the U.S. Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office. The system uses a solid state amplifier to generate a high power microwave pulse that can travel at the speed of light and cover a large area. The pulse can disrupt the electronics of the drones, causing them to lose control and fall out of the sky. The system can also jam the communication signals of the drones preventing them from receiving commands from their operators or coordinating with each other. The system can operate autonomously or with human supervision, and it can integrate with existing radar and sensor networks to detect and track incoming threats. The system is also scalable, meaning it can be mounted on different platforms, such as trucks, trailers, or even striker infantry combat vehicles. The U.S. Army has received four prototypes of Leonidas, and plans to test them extensively to evaluate their performance and effectiveness against a variety of unmanned aerial systems. The Army will also hold a demonstration in June 2024, in which industry partners will showcase their solutions against a swarm of up to 50 drones. The Army hopes that Leonidas will provide a reliable and cost-effective solution to counter the growing drone menace and give them an edge on the battlefield. So, what do you think of Leonidas, the US Army's new drone killer? Do you think it's a game changer or a waste of money? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, stay tuned and stay touchy.